Good morning, Eagles. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vaccinate and Win with Mr. and Ms. Junior. Give it up for Mr. and Ms. Junior. Hey. So we thank you all for joining us. Before we get into the actual drawings, which is going to be quick, just wanted to take a few minutes out uh, to talk to Mr. and Ms. Junior because, believe it or not, they have already received their vaccination shots. And we wanted to take a little time to, you know, have them share with share with you all their experience with the vaccine and some information that they may have. So, Miss um, Zoe, I know you've been very busy and doing a lot of different things this semester, trying to keep the junior class engaged. Tell us about the day that you guys went over to get. You. Actually, tell us about how you felt before you got your vaccine, because I remember you had some apprehensions about everything. All right. So I have wanted to get vaccinated. I have always wanted to get vaccinated. I was just researching the different types of vaccinations, whether it be the two dose or the one. So I was going to um, go to Walgreens, of course, and do that whole process to try to get one of the two step shots. But then I was told that it's a month in between both of your shots and then you're not fully vaccinated until two weeks after your second. So being that the Johnson and Johnson is one shot, you wait your two weeks and then you're fully like you're good to go. I figured that was the best route. I could be done with it faster. Wouldn't have to worry about waiting that long period of time in between. So the day that me and Jeremy and I went to go get our vaccinations, it was a nice brisk morning, but the school was very organized, like very organized. We checked in, we filled out our paperwork, and then there was someone to escort you through the rest of the process. So you would get upstairs and get your vaccination card, checked in with someone. And then when it was time to get vaccinated, there was some really nice people vaccinated. I believe my, um, my practitioner worked at Central or went to school at Central and she was an alumni. So we had some good conversations. She gave me my shot. I'm not really afraid of needles. So there wasn't any anxiety there or anything. I was fine. And then I really like how they do the 15 to 30 minute waiting process because I think that really eases people's anxiety and their fears about it, knowing that if anything is happening, there's people here on spot that can help you, God forbid, but everybody was fine. Everybody was in good spirits in the area. And then when we walked out, we had our little snacks, took our pictures, and it was overall a good experience. All right, Jeremy, tell us about your experience and what your thoughts were before and after the vaccination. Uh, my experience was similar to Zoe's. Um, even before coming into the vaccine, it's something that I always plan on getting because I'm from New York. So I plan on getting it eventually before I move back home. And so it was just great having it on my campus so I didn't have to go set an appointment at uh, Walgreens or CVS to get it. Um, at first, I wanted to get the Pfizer, the two dose, but like Zoe said, it was a a long waiting period and I didn't have that exact time. So I was, you know, leaning it towards getting a Johnson and Johnson, which I did. And my overall experience was great. I mean, everything was organized, you know, straightforward. You know, you walk in, they check you in, make sure that you have the right appointment time. From there, you move into the uh, vaccination site in which they give you the COVID card in which, you know, shows your passport. And then from there, you walk in, you get vaccinated. The people were, were warm, making sure that, you know, all your concerns is met. If you had any questions, they were answering it on the spot. And then from there, you go straight into the observation stuff which you wait for about 15 minutes just to see if you have any, you know, allergic reactions or any type of abnormalities or anything into that nature. Um, but overall, like I said, it was a great experience. Um, have no ill thoughts, anything to that nature. But yeah, overall it was great. All right. Uh, so in addition to that, um, since you've been vaccinated, uh, well, to the whole group, pretty much letting everyone know once you're vaccinated, you will receive, I'm gonna hide my date of birth because y'all don't need to know how old I am, but you'll receive a card like this. Oops, it's a little blurry, there we go. And you take this card or a copy of this card and you upload it to Medicat. Medicat is the university health center system. And that's how you're entered to win. As soon as you enter your information, your card into Medicat, you are entered to win. And you have an opportunity to win some big prizes. We'll get into the prizes in just a second, but you know, and the prizes get updated. So there's gonna be new stuff each week. And even if you don't get vaccinated through the NCCU clinic, 
you can get vaccinated anywhere. They will issue this card to you and you can submit it. So even though our vaccination clinic is about to wrap up this week, so hurry up and get in there and get your shots. But even though it's wrapping up this week, uh, there's some uh, still opportunities and we may still do more vaccination clinics throughout the year. But as far as right now, we're going to be wrapping things up. So hurry up, get on that list, get your appointment so you can get your vaccination shot so you can win some prizes. Residential Life has some prizes coming down the pipeline for students that get vaccinated. Student engagement and leadership has some. And for our first year students, new student family programs has a contest for the first year students that are getting vaccinated. So there's a lot of opportunities to win. We want everybody to do that. We understand that there's a lot of apprehension about the vaccines and vaccination and all that stuff. Just, I think yesterday or this morning, is issues came out with Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The university will be issuing some official uh, information about that, but please, uh, I am not a medical professional. So let me be clear. However, I have received the Johnson and Johnson vaccine as well. So, you know, my eyebrows raised when I heard about it. But then when we started hearing as of right now, the number of people with adverse reactions are, is very, very, very low. So it's just the same kind of adverse reaction almost if you, people have, you know, certain allergies to ibuprofen, aspirin, it's just random thing, the flu shot. So there's always those persons who have, have adverse reactions. Uh, but being that the vaccines were moved in a high speed manner and out of normal protocols, we're going to be cautious about it. So the university will be shifting to one of the other two dose vaccines. But again, still sign up. And just because you received your first dose here, it does not mean that you have to receive your second dose here. So if you receive your first dose here on campus and a month later, you know, the semester's wrapping up, you're back home. You can get an appointment somewhere else to get your second vaccination shot. So those are the things that you need to keep in mind. Um, and I know time is going, so I don't want to hold it up because uh, uh, I want to make sure we give out some of these prizes. So today we're actually going to give out five prizes, five prizes. OK, so let me share my screen really quickly so you guys can see some of these prizes. Uh, so on the left hand side, folks, we got the few very, very few people who've actually submitted their cards. This is going to work out well for them for so because five of these people will win one of these great prizes on the other side. Amazon gift cards, Dell laptops, uh, 25, I'm sorry, 50 inch smart televisions and all that stuff. So this is just the first round of prizes. So like I said, we're going to get some more. So Zoe, Jeremy, Miss Davis, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Do the game show hand clap. <laughs> All right, so the first name that we're going to pick today is Charles. I do not want to butcher your name, so I'm just going to call you Charles E. And let's see what prize Charles is going to win. What do you think he's going to get, Jeremy? Uh, I think the smart TV. Oh, let's see if Charles gets a smart TV. You called it, Charles and get a 50-inch television, smart TV. There you go. So that's the round one. Charles, congratulations. Let's see who's next. So that's number one. So we got another one. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lori South. So here we go. Uh, Zoe, what you think Laura going to win? So y'all have to excuse her. She's very emotional today. She's gonna get the twenty-five dollar. She's gonna get twenty-five dollar gift card. Let's see what she gets. Let's see what she gets. Nope. Again, <laughs> gangster okay, hand clap. Good job. Good job. So that's another one. So we'll take that off the list. And let's go here. Next person to win. Madeline. Yeah. Let's see what Madeline gets. Madeline. Amazon gift card. Give it up for Madeline. All right, Miss Davis. Next one is yours. Let's see who the next person is. What do you think Mallory's gonna win? 
I think I think Mallory is going to get a hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Let's see if you're right. You guys are calling. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. All right, all right. So this last name, we'll see who's left. Who's next? Kristen Berlin. <laughs> I think Kristen is going to get a $100 Amazon gift card. All right, let's see what Kristen gets. So, thank you. That's the first five winners for the prizes for the uh, uh, uh Vaccinate and win with Mr. Miss Junior. Uh, so keep in mind, folks, even though you're receiving the vaccine, you are not immune to the virus. You are just li less likely to become deathly ill of the virus, just like with the flu vaccination. It doesn't mean you're not going to get the flu. It just means you most likely won't die from the flu, which is what we all want. We want to make sure everyone's protected, protecting yourselves, protecting your family members. Uh, Jeremy. Even though you're vaccinated, you still must do practice what? The three W's. Which is? You got Which um, are? <laughs> you want me to say in order? I believe it's wear your mask, um, social distance, and um, I always forget the last one. Wear, wash your hands. There we go. There you go. Wash your hands. The three W's. Yes. Remember to practice the three W's even if you are vaccinated. We have to continue to protect the nest. Please encourage your fellow students to get uh, vaccinated so we can make sure that we can have a good end of the semester. And the more students that get vaccinated, the more likely we will be able to return to some normalcy in the fall semester. That's our biggest thing. We miss homecoming. Spring fling is coming out, but it's not spring fling like, like we know it. We miss the bowl. We miss all these different things that we have been doing over the years. The only way we can get even close to getting back to that is if everybody is vaccinated and if everyone is still pr practicing social distancing. So please keep that in mind. We will be back here next week, 1040 on Tuesday, to give out some more prizes. Remember, upload your uh, uh, vaccination card information to Medicat. That is the only way you will be entered to win. You can only win once. So even if you've been in there, we've already taken your name off the list. Don't try and get two prizes and all that stuff. But please, 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 please vaccinate, upload your card, continue to pr practice social distancing in the three W's. It, thank you all. Have a great rest of your day. We're excited. We look forward to seeing everybody next week.